Hi guys, so in this video, I'm gonna do a kawaii Japanese stationery haul for you and I have some really cute and also some really unique and interesting stationery items. I want to give a big thank you to Bai who sponsored this video and if you want to get a $20 coupon to use at Bai, then use the link in my description box to sign up. If you guys are planning on using Bai, then make sure to watch till the end because I have a few tips to make your experience a little bit smoother. So let's get started with this haul. Zebra mild liners are super popular, especially among the journaling community. And these are Sanrio mild liners for sale in Japan only, as you can see on the package. And this is a special Sanrio Kiki and Lala mild liner, which comes in little twin stars colors, which is kind of like a light turquoise, uh, light pink, and like a peachy light orange. And these have a chisel tip, which you can use for highlighting things. And then on the other end, there's a bullet tip or a regular pen tip, which you can use for writing. So these are super versatile. I think the colors are really pretty, but my favorite part is that they have the little twin stars on the casing. Next up, I have this cute little ballpoint pen. It's one of those pens that has three different colors on it. It would be fun if it was like pink, purple, and blue, but this is just regular basic colors like black, blue, and red, which also means it's super usable. And it's by the brand Jetstream. And I bought this off of, I think, Amazon JP. I think it retails for about 740 yen, which is equivalent to about $7 and 40 cents in the US. But it says on the back of the pen that this is for sale in Japan only, so you can't buy this in the US. But you can still buy it through Bai using Amazon JP. Next up, I have a couple of pencil cases. And I let each of my daughters pick out a pencil case. This is the one that my older daughter, Sienna, picked out. It's this cute Hello Kitty pencil case which has a spot for a bunch of pencils and then it has this bigger compartment where you can put larger items like maybe scissors or pencil sharpener or crayons. Here is a close-up of the design. This is such a cute little Hello Kitty, super classic, and it has this gold bow on the front and then it has a double zipper closure so you can open it either way and then it has this little carrying handle on top. On the tag, it says it's a Sanrio original and it retails for 1500 Japanese yen, which is about 15 US dollars. It has a US price, but I don't think I've seen this anywhere online in the US. Here is the other pencil case that we got. It's also a light purple color, and actually, my daughter Sienna chose this one first, but then my younger daughter Valentina, who always copies her older sister, decided that she wanted this too, so Sienna decided to go with the Hello Kitty one instead. And Valentina stuck with the Kuromi pencil case. This one is a little bit softer than the Hello Kitty pencil case, which is more structured. This one almost reminds me of a makeup bag, but it's definitely a pencil case. And it kind of reminds me of the Lee Heat Lab pencil case because it has this spot for the pencils and you can pretty much see everything in that section of the pencil case. And in the back here, it's just a big pocket. And this is the part that kind of reminds me of like a makeup pouch or something. So you could probably use this as a makeup pouch just put your br brushes in the front and put your larger items back here but i think it was labeled as a pencil case so there's plenty of space for all your junk for some reason they price things higher in the u.s it would cost 16 dollars in the u.s but in japan they charge 1200 yen which is about 12 us dollars and again i haven't seen this kind of thing for sale anywhere here in the u.s Next up, we have this pack of Zebra Sarasa pens, and this is probably one of my favorite Japanese gel pens. I think that they write really consistently, and they're just pretty good pens. And these are no ordinary Sarasa pens. These are My Melody Sarasa pens, and they come in these milky pastel colors. It looks like this retails for 15 US dollars. But the Japan price is 1200 yen, which is about 12 US dollars. 
So let's open this up and take a closer look at the pens. I think my favorite color is going to be the milky purple color and when it comes to these milky pens I always like the white because I think that it's really versatile but I'm probably going to end up splitting these up amongst myself and my kids. This is the gel clip pen so the nice thing about these pens is that they have this gigantic clip that you can use to just click onto your notebook or anything really. Because this item has a US price tag on it and a Japanese one, it makes me think that this item is not banned for sale in the US. But honestly, since I've gotten back to the US, I haven't seen a Sanrio store in my local area and I asked my mom about it and she said that the local Sanrio store by our house in California closed a long time ago and she hasn't seen official Sanrio stores. There are stores that sell Sanrio products, but I don't think I've seen an official Sanrio store here in a really long time. Also, the online Sanrio store is really limited, so I really haven't seen any of these items here. Anyway, the next item is this paper tape lace, which is Kiki and Lala themed or Little Twin Stars, my favorite Sanrio character. And I think that this one ended up being about 400 and something yen online, which is around 4 US dollars. This one is so gorgeous. It has um, Kiki and Lala, the little twin stars, kind of as babies. And they're both taking a bath or getting ready for bed. And it has this lace cut out with the little star punches throughout. This is so pretty. I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this for, but I think it would be really pretty to use for journaling or to put on a card for somebody. I know that my girls would really love this, but this is the kind of thing that I would end up conserving and using very sparingly just because it's so delicate and so pretty. And then I have this little Pochaco notepad. Do you guys remember this character? This one came out I think in the 90s and it was really popular for a while and then it kind of went out of fashion but I think recently Pochaco has been making a comeback because I've been seeing these products in the gacha machines and also some new stationery and just other Sanrio products. So this is super cute and super nostalgic for me. When I was in elementary school, I used to get notepads like this and then I would write letters to my friends and I would put in like one sheet of this paper along with other pieces of stationery and I just exchanged stationery with my friends that way. And then here is another tricolor pen. This one is a Hello Kitty pen and I actually had to wait much longer for this pen than all of my other items it kind of held up my order but this is a friction ball pen by Sunstar and this is kind of cool because I don't know if I've seen a tricolor friction ball pen before and on top of that this is Sanrio so even better this one was expensive it retailed for 990 Japanese yen which is about nine dollars and ninety cents in the US okay I saved the best items for last. This is probably my favorite thing in the entire haul. I love this as an adult and the third grade Marie would squeal over this. This is so amazing in my opinion. This is just a little stationary notepad and it was about 440 Japanese yen or about $4.40 in the US and it has all of these little stationary items but they're so cute. This first one is just a little sheet of paper that folds into a miniature book and this is just the cutest thing that you will ever see until we reach the other stationary items. I love the attention to detail on this. You can't really write much in here, but that's not the point. And here's another Kiki and Lala memo. Wouldn't this be great for passing notes in class? I bet you guys don't even do that anymore. You just text each other. And honestly, I didn't pass notes with this kind of cute note paper. I would just use like regular notebook paper. But anyway, check out this one. This folds up just a little bit at the bottom. As you can see, it's just a tiny little piece of note paper. So I don't know. I'm probably going to use this to write notes to my kids when they go back to school and I'll just put it in their lunchbox. I would be so happy to receive this from anybody because it's just so pretty and adorable. And this next one has sort of like a baby cub 
little twin stars theme and this one is really cute it looks like a little envelope and when you fold it up it just looks like um, a miniature envelope this one has a little bit more space for writing but I just love the design on these and I like how they have the little cutout spaces in the paper where you can tuck in the corner of the envelope and just seal it up you don't even need a sticker for this it's so convenient and okay now that I'm looking at this I think this is my favorite piece in this entire notepad this is the little twin stars dress up in sailor outfits but it's actually I think their travel outfits and this one folds up into comment below if you know what it folds up into it folds up into a little suitcase oh my gosh I am just dying over this and this one also has a little cutout space where you can tuck in the bottom of the memo. The yellow and brown hair color on the Little Twin Stars makes this a little bit less saccharine than the other so it's really cool. And then here's the last one. This one is also just too cute for words. This one is a little memo pad that folds up into comment below if you know what it is. It is a little miniature quilt. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? The attention to detail on all of these pieces is so extraordinary and I wish I would have bought other varieties of this notepad because I think that they had other notepads with similar characters. But anyway, leave a comment below and let me know which of these memo pad pieces was your favorite. I think mine is still the suitcase after going through all of them but honestly, you can't go wrong with any of these. They're all so cute. And this is also a good price. And then here are a couple of other memo pads that I got. One of them is a My Melanie one and the other is Pom Pom Perrine. And these ones are made by a different company. I don't think they're Sanrio Originals, but they are also these kind of cute little fold up memo notes. And on the back, it shows you exactly how you can fold it up. And these items are for sale in Japan only, but I was still able to order them using Bai. Sometimes when you order these kinds of items, you'll get your order canceled, but then other times if you look for the exact same items through a different retailer, you can still manage to purchase them. But anyway, these ones are much smaller than the Kiki and Lala note papers. As you can see, it's just super tiny. I mean, I could probably write maybe two words on here. If you write really small, you could probably fit a little bit more, but this one folds up into a little crepe or maybe it's an ice cream cone and then there's this other my melody paper and this one folds up into a miniature cupcake and i mean this would be really cute to like put in your journal or something but honestly it's just super not that functional at all the little twin stars ones are much bigger and and those ones are still small but these ones are just microscopic and lastly, let's take a closer look at this Pom Pom Perrine notepad. So if the My Melody notepad was not very functional, this is even less functional and you'll see why. So this one has Pom Pom Perrine as like a little flan or pudding as you would say in Japanese. And then it also has Pom Pom Perrine pancakes with some fruit. And on the back, it shows you in detail how you can fold it up. So let's start off with the pancake one. This one I found to be a little bit more difficult than the My Melody. You really have to get the proportions folded and they have these little dotted line guides which you can use to help you fold the paper up appropriately but then I still did it wrong and I had to readjust it. But in the end when you look at it from the front you can't really tell that I misfolded it. This snow paper is about the same size as the My Melody Cupcake, so still super tiny and not super functional, but really cute. And next we have the little pudding or flan note paper. And this one I found a little bit difficult. As you can see, the tip of it is sticky because these are sticky notes. And then you have to put that little tab into this cutout slot, but because the back of the tab is sticky, it makes it really hard to put into the slot. I eventually gave up and just stuck the sticky part onto the back of the pudding flan and it worked just fine. The shape was a little bit janky, but I don't know, it's really cute. I don't know how I use the pudding though. It's super non-functional. 
It might look good in like a dollhouse or something if you are into miniatures. So in the past when I used Bai, I had everything shipped to me in Korea where I live, but since then I've moved back to the US and I have some pointers for you guys if you're gonna use this service. First of all, some of the normal methods of shipping are suspended due to COVID and you can only ship via DHL and C-mail right now. And food items do not ship via DHL. So if you order food, you are going to run into problems, especially if it's too large to be shipped by C-mail. In that case, you'll have to ship it to a friend in Japan or have it pretty much thrown away. Also, I don't recommend ordering protective packaging because it can greatly increase the size of your package so as to make it ineligible for shipping. Also, when I ordered protective packaging, they unwrapped everything and took it out of the boxes and one of the items that I ordered was lost, so I never received it. Just really complicated, don't do it. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to check out these playlists right here. And as always, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.